Whew. Oh man, what a week, what a week. New York Fashion Week was amazing. I'm finally back home in Seattle. I just finished unpacking all my shenanigans. And now I just want to do like a little quick re uh, recap with you guys and share with you everything that went down during New York Fashion Week, how Mikey and I navigated um, Fashion Week this year. Uh, this is the third time we have attended New York Fashion Week. Um, this is actually the second time I've actually like seriously like taken it. Uh, the first time was just kind of like, oh, okay, I went to two shows and that's it. And then the, the year after that, I was like, okay, this is cool. I attended a few shows. And then this year is actually the first year I actually wanted to like conquer New York Fashion Week as a professional blogger, you know? Um, so I'll share everything with you guys. What we learned, the good, the bad, the ugly, the in-between, all of that shenanigans. If you're new to my channel, my name is Freelance Hoyle. And on this channel, I focus on fashion, lifestyle, a little bit of traveling, and a little bit of home decor. So if you love looking fabulous, I'm your new girlfriend, okay? So go ahead and hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, share with your friends and your other friends so we can all be one beautiful community together. I I am back from New York. Um, I just don't wanna get off the, the fashion high that I'm currently on. I feel like I can get, I can conquer Seattle for another year. Um, you know, if, if you live in Seattle, you know Seattle's not a fashion place, okay? But we make it, we make it happen here. Um, woo, there's a lot that happened, but I'm just so happy the way Mikey and I navigated New York Fashion Week this year, uh, cause I do want to do this as a full time job. I would love to like, you know, just, I would love to travel the whole entire month of September during Fashion Week go do a uh, Copenhagen Fashion Week, New York Fashion Week, Paris, uh, Milan. I just wanna go London. I just wanna go everywhere. Um, I, I do love what I do. I'm really passionate about this. Um, this year was the first time I went back to New York for Fashion Week uh, since my sister passed three years ago. When she passed, I just really lost <sighs> the love that I had for fashion, just everything, just in general. I just didn't see how I can continue going on and doing life when my sister's here. Even when I have happy moments, I'm just like, why am I laughing? Why am I smiling? Like my sister's not here to see this. So I wanted to go this year to New York Fashion Week to see if I still have that fire in me and I still have that love for fashion like I did before my sister passed. And I feel like this trip, I needed it. I needed it to, it made me realize that I, I do love this. This is actually what I want to do. It makes me happy. Even the shenanigans that come with it, I absolutely love fashion. I eat, breathe fashion. This is in my blood. And I'm just so happy that I have a supportive husband who took on this, trip with me and just believe in all my shenanigans and I also believe in myself that's the most important thing so the first few days we stayed at the temple hotel by Hilton it used to be a double tree hotel they have renovated it and now they have new ownerships and it is just absolutely stunning it was not massive but of course it's New York things are not massive everything is like really small tiny and whatnot and this room was stayed in holy crap it's so beautiful it was for for new york like it was big enough for mikey and i uh it was absolutely stunning like you walk in the hallway there's a little area right here where they had um where i could hang my clothes that i was wearing for new york fashion week they were kind enough to bring me like 40 extra hangers so I can like hang all of our stuff. 
I had a nice area where I put my shoes and my bags and my earrings. And then I did like this like little office area they had for us to like sit in the little desk. I put it out, out, that was like my little like get ready for makeup and uh, um, my hair. I like a little section there and there was a coffee for Mikey every single morning. He can have his coffee or during, during the day when he feels like he needs a little oof. Um, the bathroom, absolutely beautiful. It, everything is new, so it was really nice. I think we're the first people to, to stay in that room. Uh, we were on the 45th floor. Absolutely stunning. I love the mirror that it had the uh, uh, light around there. So it was like really nice of like getting ready. Also like doing a little like fit check to make sure my makeup is make my makeup is great and my hair is throwing since I wear my fro and we had like a really nice view of the Times Square you can see all the shenanigans what's happening and I set up a little section for me to do my little day uh, daily outfit check for every single day um, I post it up I post it every single day on Instagram and TikTok. so if you're not following me there make sure you're following me um, it's just like the service was top notch. This was not sponsored. We did pay for a room and uh, hopefully in the future we'll, you know, we'll partner up with the, uh, the hotel and because uh, we, we really did enjoy our stay there and downstairs they had a great beautiful restaurant. Um, that, I mean the trunk is, you know, iron out some of the kinks they have because it's literally I think was only three weeks or a month old when we got there so everything was they're trying to get everything situated but we absolutely loved our stay there um the last place we stayed at was our friend's place I didn't record her place um they because just out of privacy they have a beautiful condo um if you're looking to buy it I think they still have some places open to buy in there it's called Rose Hill stunning 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 I'll share with you guys like the outside and like their the views uh, and their building I just oh my gosh they have the library area they have um, a pool area sauna they have a gym for me what really like sold me over was the view the view from each balcony the the from each rooftop the view was breathtaking I'm scared of heights so my little heart was like pounding really 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 fast but beautiful 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 loved it so me and Mikey when we uh, got to New York we're like okay what do we want to do like we wanted to navigate New York Fashion Week differently and since it was stupid hot it was hot I, I really wanted to take a break from my fro, so I'm waiting for my uh, my braiding lady to tell me if she has an opening up so I can go so she can squeeze me in and bright, braid my hair because I don't want to rock my fro for some time. I want to take a break. I'm taking a break from makeup. I wore makeup every single day. I was redoing my face probably twice or three times a day. That was a lot. And the heat, whoa, child. Mm -mm. Too much, too much. But Mikey and I sit down. And we're like, let's get up early in the morning and shoot two or three looks before we go to different shows. So it is 6.47 and uh, it's a Thursday. Mike and I are going to shoot three looks. We are, we have two events today, uh, one presentation and, and, and so I have a party at six to nine. But I wanted to get some looks done photograph that so I don't have to be in a rush and I woke up at 4 a.m. This is the stuff that you guys don't get to see okay 4 a.m. to do my makeup and my hair I'm wearing my natural hair today and well I me mean, for the rest of the trip I am going to wear my natural hair but, um, this heat is crazy so let's keep our fingers crossed that the fro will be froing okay so that way during the shows we're not rushing 
to capture a look before the show or after the show. So we already have that ahead of time done. So I would get up at 4 a.m. every single day we were in New York. I would get up at 4, I would get ready, shower, brush my teeth, uh, do my skin routine, my makeup and my hair, um, steam my clothes that I was going to wear, uh, the day off for the shows, whatever shows I was going to go to attend, I would pick out outfits that I wanted to wear that day. I will steam it. And then I'll have the suitcase like, uh, packed. I had a, like a, a little, my little carry on suitcase. That's why I used to like carry the pieces when we're shooting and I'll wake Mikey up around six o'clock and then he will shower, brush his teeth, drink his coffee by 6 20 6 30 we're at the door and we'll scout out like the day before we see which location we want to shoot looks at and then we just get a lift or uber and get there we'll shoot two looks if if it's too hot we only did two looks because i was sweating and my fro was just shrinking during the uh, the shoots and then if it's a little cooler, a little bit nicer early in the morning, then we'll push it and do three looks. Then we'll come back to the room and then I would edit the pictures and Mikey will go have his breakfast and whatnot. I'll edit the pictures um, and then I will take off my makeup again. I'll take it all off and then I'll rebraid my hair, take a nap, wake up to whatever show I'm going to first get ready again and then wear rewear the outfits that I shot you know for the day and I had to re-steam them all this stuff and then go to the shows so we just like I'm just there in the moment and enjoying the shows instead of like rushing and trying to be captured because I've already taken care of that uh, get a lift by the time I am back in a lift I am like writing up the caption, you know, trying to summarize what I saw that really like, you know, struck my attention during each show uh, from designers. And then I'll just like write down a little few notes and then I'll write the caption. And then when we get back to the hotel, I would post it, catch din uh, get some dinner, you know, enjoy the evening and just chill and then repeat. Have more like outfits to edit that I didn't finish, then I'll finish up. Uh, catch up on emails, uh, respond to uh, shows. Because while we were there, some of the shows were getting invited too late. And so I'm like, okay, where can I squeeze this event in? Some days I were just super packed. And I'm just like, I can't do all of this. Uh, so then I'll share my, uh, my tickets uh, to my other friends, blogger friends, and then they can go attend the show and events for me. For me, I looked at I look at New York Fashion Week like strictly business. It's an amazing opportunity for me to network with brands, network with other um, fashion bloggers, and just you just never know who you're going to meet. Uh, so I did not attend parties or anything like that. I'm not a party person, like I said in my previous um, video. So like once in a while I would go out, but I like strictly just look at New York Fashion Week business 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 uh when i was not attending shows i was back in my hotel room working editing with mikey and just enjoying uh, just chill vibes because in new york fashion week is like go 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 i am so proud of mikey and i the way we work together as a team he's a fantastic partner during new york fashion week we were able to shoot 12 looks I know that sounds insane, but we, yeah, we shot 12 looks. We not just did pictures of them. We also did videos of each look because I did collaborate with different designers from Africa and I just love representing African designers during fashion week. So I wanted to give them the best quality pictures and videos because I want them to work with me in the future so because i want them to remember you know what we worked with her and she produced amazing work for us like the way she captured our, our looks and the videos so for me it was really really important that i make these brands um proud and for them to work with me again in the future so i did just that 
Aiden sometimes when I didn't want to get up at four o'clock, I sure did get up. And I was like, you know what? I'll sleep when I get home. My feet are hurting still from New York Fashion Week. Um, but it's okay because it was everything and more. So let me share with you uh, day by day what I wore in the shows that I attended. I did not attend so many shows. I was very particular of how I wanted to conquer this year's uh, Fashion Week. Uh, I just didn't want to be all over the place. I was on a mission of capturing quality, quality uh, content for my platforms and also making beautiful connections with uh, uh, different people. Let's start off by the first look that I wore during Fashion Week. The first dress is this gorgeous black maxi dress. It is stunning. This gown is absolutely stunning. It has so much character, so much just drama, the high slit. Love it. The long sleeves, little ruffles, and it was just absolutely stunning. And I was wearing my fro. My fro was out it was out and it's glory because that was the first look so my fro was throwing before the heat became disrespectful and i paired up with this yellow beautiful jimmy choo heels and then for the accessories i did some gold um with silver earrings from zara and then i went and finished off the look with a silver uh coach bag that i bought that i shared with you guys absolutely such a fun fun look to be honest with you when i'm taking pictures i don't even know who this person is i just like i don't know i just become something else and I just like snap out of my very shy girl and i just become something else and this dress made me feel like an african goddess and i hope i made uh, peter proud by the way I rocked his gown, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So the so the black gown I wore it to the La Jance fashion presentation, where their pieces were just so beautiful. I hope in the future I'll be dressed by them. I absolutely love their pieces. So, oh my gosh, there's this girl was wearing this whole entire symbol like she was, it was white and she was looked so stunning and then there was this other girl she was wearing this a beautiful mini skirt and a, and a top with the blazer all oh, oh that was so beautiful and in her hair just made a whole beautiful statement I was in love with every single piece this they showcased during their presentation. Amazing, amazing, amazing pieces. Definitely check them out. After that, I went to a folklore uh, event that was sponsored by Shopify. Come to me with those brands. I love my head. Okay, so on that floor, just seeing their pieces in person and some of these designers have actually bought pieces from them but actually seeing their pieces in person and touching it and just like being able to put it against my skin and oh my gosh it was just so beautiful and they also had a panel and where they would talk about just everything entrepreneurship being a business owner being a designer how they're navigating this world how they're trying to make space for themselves and you know creating tables for themselves and it was just amazing i felt super empowered and i would love 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 to carry some of these designers in my boutique here in seattle and i also wore another piece by peter oshabar it was just beautiful this red this red top and pants super fun it's a unisex piece so guys can also wear it and then the top you can also wear as a dress which i did later on also in the evening i changed up from the pants and i wear it with a dress love it love it and i did some black zara heels cute muse heels and then i also finished off the look with a black clutch 
that I bought in Zambia. I love it. So if you're ever in Zambia, go to 37D Gallery. They have fun, fun, fun accessories. Um, it just, it's such, I don't know, just like a piece of home. That's a statement. Every single time I wear this bag, everybody's always asking me like, when did you buy this? It is so beautiful and so much fun. And I wear these gold earrings. I'm all the sucker. I'm a sucker for statement like earrings because i had my fro out so i wanted to have like statement earrings out uh, you know i wanted to have statement earrings to rock with my fro and then these earrings are just amazing uh there's a girl on instagram she makes them uh, i think she, it's called pepper let me make sure uh pepper pious that's her name on instagram i will leave our information below she made these earrings and they're just super fun now that day i actually the first day i shot three looks and then again later on i did wear this uh, gorgeous colorful coat by peter oshabar it was a uh, hot oh i was sweating bullets like my friend was not throwing anymore um, instead of just like wearing as a coat, I ended up wearing as a dress. I paired it up with my Valentino uh, belt, which was like super fun. It brought in the waist. And then I did like a funky thing with uh, my Alexandra Wang boots, denim boots. I've actually never worn them like out anywhere. This was my first time wearing them. I thought it was just like perfect pairing it up. This like funky, fun coat with the uh, my denim Alexandra uh, wing boots. It was just so fun. I forgot to wear earrings with this look, but it's okay. It still came together so beautifully. So the second day of New York Fashion Week, we went to Essence uh, Fashion House, which was so beautiful. Mackie and I got there early. Uh, just they had different panels. They have different brands there and just like great way for us to like network with other brands and just like other you know creators and getting to know people just just I don't know just different like the people you follow and seeing them in person and just like a whole totally different vibe. I wore this pink top from um, Ackler, their Australian brand. It's a top that's super stunning. I did show you guys on my previous video that I was looking forward to wearing this um, piece. I uh, wore the top and the skirt and I had the top tucked in. And when you, uh, when you see it in person, you think I'm wearing a dress, but it's actually not a dress. It's actually a skirt and a top. I up with my, my little um, heels, yellow heels that I absolutely love, 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 love these heels. And I wear it with my Etsy green bag. It's kind of like a dupe of the Bottega um, bag. And then I did my Zara earrings again. And this one go-to earrings during fashion week believe it or not like they I don't know they just went so beautifully with every single piece that I was wearing so while we we're there at the essence uh fashion house it was so beautiful and then I was just like going around to different section check out everything they had and I was standing there and then uh this guy came up to me and he's like I would love to do you mind if I take a video of your uh outfit and I was like yeah sure and at the corner of my eye, I see somebody and I turn. It was one of the Yosef's eye, um, Yosef sisters. Oh my gosh, beautiful, beautiful souls. It was my first time actually meeting them in person. I've been following them for years and I just have always interacted with everything they do. I absolutely love everything that the sisters do. At first I thought they were twins, but they're not. Um, and it was just like so beautiful to meet them in person. Very welcoming, very humble and chill. It was so refreshing. We just like, for some reason we ended up having it like a heart to heart conversation. It was just, what I needed in that moment to be honest with you it was so beautiful because one thing I found out is that which is like really sad and heartbreaking at the same time is that sometimes like the people I actually follow on social media and then when you meet them in so, uh, when you meet them in real life they're not the same people like the vibe 
they give up is just so like wait what this is how you are in person but the yosef sisters they were just so amazing like i wish them nothing but the best like they're killing it out here in the streets if you're not following them definitely check them out i'm super inspired by them and makes me so proud as a fellow african um blogger and just seeing them uh, also killing it it's just like okay keep going girl you got this it's just like ah oh, they gave me so much gems and just like inspiration to keep going and we just had a beautiful beautiful uh conversation and they were asking me if i'm if i was going to like kensington uh event and i was like oh i actually didn't even know it was happening right now they're like no you should go and check it out um I don't know if I'm supposed to say this, but I'm going to go ahead and say it. I'm like, well, do I need to have tickets or do I need to be, you know, on the list of it? They're like, uh, we don't know, but just say our names, go there. Like seriously, go there. All the girls are there and whatnot. And that's what Mike and I did. We got, we got a lift and we went and we ended up at the Kensington Great event. And yes, we did use their names to get in. And I just like, I'm so grateful for them for doing that because like, what? Who does that? And we we went and um, attended the event. It was so much like knowledge and they had uh, Dapper Dan, who was uh, the speaker. And Karen was one of the, uh, the, the ladies who was asking questions. And it was just such a beautiful event. Well put together. Shout out to Shay, uh, who is the owner of the Kensington, the Kensington Gray uh, agency, and it was just so beautiful seeing black creators in a space like that and just slaying New York Fashion Week. It just ah, uh, it just feels. I felt seen, you know, like like. I don't know. I just, I, it's kind of hard to explain it into words. You just have to experience it. It was so beautiful. And just seeing like the creators that I follow in person and just interacting with them, talking. And then one of the people that really like got my heart just like really happy was Fumi. So Fumi, uh, she's a designer behind Fumi the label. And I have this beautiful blue dress from her. That dress has me on a in a chokehold like i absolutely love this dress i always wear this dress during spring and fall season i love this dress so it's so great to like meet her in person she was sitting next to me and we just like chatted for a little bit and i was telling her like listen i love your dress it was so funny because i did not know it was her sitting next to me and she tapped me and she's like hey i'm fumi you wore one of my dresses and stuff i'm like oh stop your dresses got me in a chokehold because I do have a few pieces from her and I absolutely absolutely love 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 them my third day of Neo Fashion Week I went and attended Katu's um fashion show that was sponsored by Joanna Fabrics Katu was one of the contestants for um project from Project Runway and she's an amazing African designer it's so crazy because I posted on my Instagram that I was attending New York Fashion Week this uh, this year and she DM'd me herself and was like, I would love for you to come and attend my show. And I was like, okay, where do I sign up? She's like, what's your email? Um, and I'll send you all the information. And so I gave her my email and truthfully enough, she sent me an email with the invitation and everything. So I gave her the information, everything she needed. And Mikey and I made our way and went to her show. Oh my God. So beautiful. All the fabrics she used were all from Joanna Fabrics. And the way she represented her culture, her country, and it, is, it was just so tastefully done it was like elevated like african pieces like you and anybody any person from every walk of life would rock it was so beautiful there was this one piece that really got 
oof it made me so happy like i just wanted to take it off the girl and put it on myself it was everything from the beginning to the end her pieces were impeccable and then they gave out the most amazing um gifts during the show joanna fabrics like went above and beyond there was like blankets in our goodie bags they had lotion they had shampoo they had conditioners they had candles uh planners inside of it they had like knitting things like we like the bags were huge and it was just amazing it was an amazing show it was super hot and I wore a really, really fun look by the designer from Nigeria it's called the Fear Factory. And it's, oh my gosh. You guys remember when I showed you guys the pants that I was wearing? And I said like this kind of like looks like the, it reminds me of like, you know, when you're going to a car wash and then it's like, it's like shaking up and everything. And those are the pants that I wore and they were fun. Everybody was just like, wear those pants from because they're a statement i wore them and i paired up with the shirt also by the fear the factory it's called fia but they their handle is the fia the fear factory the fia factory um but their pieces are beautiful the shirt amazing i like how it's like really simple in the front but when you look in the back the detailing of it is so beautiful and i paired up with the shoes were um, my like alexandra mcqueen pumps love them and then i went again and i paired up with my bag from zambia it's just a fun um bag that i bought back home that i'm super in love with and i did my silver uh zara uh earrings to make a statement and then this look came on beautifully together i'm looking at the pictures um it was just such a beautiful fun look and my husband captured every single piece so beautifully definitely check her out she's an amazing phenomenal designer absolutely love loved every piece she produced Thank you so much for having me, Katu. Really appreciate your hospitality. Can't wait to see what you do next. The fourth day of New York Fashion Week, we attended Christian Cohen's event, which was sponsored in, um, which was sponsored by Core. Core is water, is a water brand. If you guys do not know that, and it was just really fun. I was actually surprised because I thought he was gonna have like a fashion show, but. Or even if it was a presentation, I thought he was going to have like more pieces. But he actually, he only had one piece, which was all made out of like recycled like bottles and stuff. And it was, but it was still stunning. We didn't stay at the show for a long time. Um, but everything, the vibe was beautiful. Um, the dress, talented, talented, talented designer. Kid, uh, like seriously, like it's just it's fascinating to see what designers like can come up uh, with by just being creative and I don't know it's a talent it's it's a match talent and this dress he created it was beautiful beautiful job well done my friend uh, Nika she's oh my gosh if you're not following Nika she is an amazing amazing creator uh based in germany uh me and her we have been following each other for some time now on social media and she was already in new york she reached out to me she's like hey i would love to meet let's let's like grab a coffee or something and um and i was like you're really in time she's like yes girl and we linked up and it felt like we have known each other for years. Like we just like been friends for years. And then like, you know, the, those friends, I have a best friend, my best friend, Dominic, me and her can go like years without seeing each other. Right. But once we see each other, it's like nothing ever passed. Like no time has passed. We just pick it up where you left off. And that's how like it felt when me and Nika met, it was just like, my long 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 best friend like it just i don't know it just 
It was so beautiful. So we, we linked up, we did a photo shoot together, we did different looks together, and did, we did videos. <laughs> much fun I just felt safe with her and it was just easy you know or just I don't know it just, yeah like she felt home and I was just uh, uh, yeah it she look at me I'm like stuttering over here uh, she's just such such a beautiful beautiful soul she's killing it over in TikTok over there at TikTok like she does amazing amazing videos on TikTok and Instagram definitely check her out um as soon as we met up and stuff it's so funny because she was in new york she did not come to new york for fashion week her and her partner just came to new york for like fun you know to just visit and uh, go later on to vegas they're just doing like a little like they're doing a trip like all over the u.s and I, we were like Shh. i was like i have some extra tickets to shows do you want to come with me and we, she's like sure and we just picked it up from there and we just started attending fashion shows together so instead of mikey going with me i went with her and mikey was like i'm gonna go explore you know in the city i'm gonna go do my own thing and you can go with her and we just we had a blast and it's so funny her partner and mikey they also headed off they were hanging out together and then she whatever hotel she was staying at she met some photographers for different shows uh who they invited her put her on the list for different shows she's like do you want to go with me i'm like sure so we just ended up like going to shows together whatever tickets she had she would share with me and whatever tickets i had i would share with her and we just had a total blast oh my gosh i just i love her i'm so glad me and her finally met in person we just headed up anyways for the fourth day i was wearing this beautiful skirt by a ganyan designer it's called um, Mada K and it's a, such a stunning skirt and I paired up with my um, lilac bodysuit from Adriana Liyama and my coach bag and then I did my matchy matchy heels in a fuchsia which I absolutely love them. They're comfortable so I could walk around in them and then later on in the evening me and a car we went to an uh, we went to a different show, which was so beautiful. It's by Ashlyn So, and she's a 15-year-old designer who is talented. I didn't even know she was 15 years old until the show was done. And I wore this denim look from Dish. It's a jacket and mini skirt. And then I did some red boots, my brown jack muse heels and i did some gold earrings my dupe bottega earrings from amazon that's what i wore to her show her show oh my gosh i have to say that ashlyn's uh soul show was my favorite show and the reason why is this every piece that came out i was like oh my god this is beautiful it's different right but there was one piece that came out towards the end. It was like elevated blanket. Basically, that's what I called it. Uh, me and I was sitting next to each other. I was like, oh my God, I love this blanket. I want this blanket, right? And the reason why I gravitated towards that blanket is because like, I've been very open about my struggle with depression and anxiety since my sister passed. And I was like, most of the times, like when I'm, when my, depression is kicking my ass I usually just sleep so my blankets have become my best friends and I'm just like I love this I just, it's so fun editorial super elevated I'm like this it spoke to me 
it did not make sense why that spoke to me so deep you know like that whole like collection why it's like my heart it left my heart feeling some type of way right until i got back to my hotel room and i was looking at her program and it was talking about every single piece and her collection was called unseen and this whole collection she did was dedicated to her healing journey for um for mental health and i was like this makes sense why my cuckoo butt really gravitated towards the blanket why it spoke so much to my soul and everything and I, oh my gosh i absolutely love this like a 15 year old proudly speaking about mental health and expressing herself through these pieces every piece you can see the different trend um transitioning from every stage of her struggle with mental health and it's just so beautifully done i love attending shows like that not this like very like you know big brands but just very like underrated up and coming designers that just struck a chord to you that makes me happy that's that's oh my god i don't even know how to explain it to be honest with you because you really just have to experience it ashlyn's uh soul's show was everything and more she spoke to me and i'm just super excited to see what else she does in the future she's only 15 and i'm sure her beautiful brain is going to create so many beautiful more pieces to come in the future and i can't wait to witness it because wow 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 she's she spoke to me as a 31 year old woman who's struggling with depression anxiety and i vote i and i probably talk about my struggle with my mental health since the passing of my sister and it just it makes you feel seen it really does like somebody using a such a big platform uh during fashion week to talk about mental health through the pieces this is the that's the beauty of um fashion just anything i'm going through being able to um trans translate it into beautiful pieces that touches people from all walks of life that you don't even know i'm super proud and i hope she's proud of herself because that was beautiful hands down one of my favorite 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 shows for the fifth day of new york fashion week i went to kevin hall's uh fashion event which he had it at a hotel on the rooftop it was very small very intimate his pieces were more of a wedding uh wedding uh wedding wear um, resort vacation vibes business but yet more elevated very much colors i live for colors i'm a sucker for colors of uh, prints and patterns i loved every piece that he had and the most thing that made me so happy is seeing some of the models wearing their afros like their natural hair i was just like in heaven i'm like wait i have my fro out it's hot as hell but then also these models are rocking their fro i was just i was just there for it i'm like yes 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 present uh representation matters i wish people knew how much this is so important how much representation like really really matters i wore this gorgeous pink coat from revolve this was my first time ever shopping at revolve and i saw this coat i was like oh my god i have to have this coat with me for fashion week and uh, i just wore it with my black my black lace bra inside and then i had my sphinx as my shapewear underneath it and then i brought in that coat with my valentino belt so i wore as a dress and then i paired up with my alexandra mcqueen pumps 
and my top shop black clutch which was super cute and i finished off my look with some zara gold and silver earrings these were my go-to earrings during fashion week i don't know why but zara has become my go-to when it comes to statement earrings and then later on in the evening me and naka we went uh to th three different um shows but they were all in the same venue so the designer was like showing back to back and there were these pieces were impeccable the three designers one was from poland one from was one was from japan and then the other one was from china i loved the way they showcased each piece from their collect collection and it represented their culture their country it was just so beautifully done each designer i could see myself wearing three or five of their looks in their collection so beautiful so so beautiful one of the designers i really loved um one of the pieces she did she because she came out the, she had the model come out with her dog during the show and you know me i have my two for my two fur sons that i'm absolutely obsessed with so i when i saw this one i was like oh my god i miss my sons i wonder what the hell they're doing home and it was just so beautiful the show was done oh my gosh amazing 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 i had so much fun each of the designers talented talented i love seeing uh, underrated designers and show this out of the box creative pieces during fashion week because like a lot of people are not getting to see this because a lot of people are attending the bigger shows you know and i'm just like oh my god i wish they could witness this fabulousness like work of art oh man each model each look from the head to toe i'm like woo! i was in heaven heaven i was living it up and then i later on i for dinner i did like this very simple um but yet elevated look i did a sweater top and a sweater maxi skirt from sibnik and other which is also an australian brand love 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 their pieces and i paired off with my powder blue outdoor heels i've had these heels for like six years i probably have worn them like three four times and when i saw them i was like in my closet like okay i need to take this this this, this will go perfectly well with this look and i finished off my look with my pink uh coach listen coach got a chokehold on me now the rebranding they have done every single season now i'm just like oh, oh my god i want that bag i want that bag like coach you're really really uh doing yourselves and i'm here for it did this gold um earrings from zara to finish off the look which was super duper duper fun um uh, the next day i went to lunch with my husband and i was wearing this beautiful set by fia the fia factory nigerian brand i did i was wearing their skirt maxi skirt beautiful the slit love the slit the little zigzag details on this uh on the skirt and then their sheer um top absolutely loved it and i did the clutch from my country zambia i bought it at 37d gallery and i did some orange heels that i bought this heels from nostrum i think they're like only like 22 dollars and they're really really fun and they have a cushion which is like amazing love 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 it and then later on for dinner, I did this like significant other suit, the blazer and pants, high waisted pants and wide leg, paired up with my Steve Madden heels and my brown Jack Muse uh, bag. And then I did this gold stud earring from Zara, 
And then my uh, last and final day in New York, Mikey and I went out for brunch and I was wearing this uh, significant other look, mini skirt and uh, balloon sleeve top, which I tucked in. The top actually comes with the belt, but I took off the belt and tucked in the, the top and I wore with this orange heels again from Nostrum. And I had my green Etsy bag, my dupe of the Bottega, which is like really fun. And then one of my friends, Doreen, she's a local Seattle artist. She made me these fun, funky earrings. They're just beautiful and they went so beautifully together with my outfit. Love, love, love it. As you can tell, my fro was finally like just like shrinking. It was at the end. <laughs> And it's okay, we made it through during Fashion Week and I absolutely loved it. Those were my looks for New York Fashion Week. I can't believe that Mikey and I captured 12 looks during Fashion Week. We worked so beautifully together. I am so proud of my husband and like, I, yeah, it just makes me so happy that this man, the way he captures me, he captures me so beautifully and we just, we had so much fun. It was a lot of work. It was just like work, 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 work. But I loved every bit of it. I would not mind doing this every day. If all the checks were clearing, going through, listen, yeah, I would still do it. That's the goal. That's the goal. That's the goal to be doing this the whole entire month and getting paid for it. But right now, it's an investment. Paying for a flight, paying for food, paying, paying for Uber uh, and Lyft and all this stuff. It's, yes, it is definitely an investment that we made as a couple together. And, and I know and I'm very certain that it's going to pay off in the future. And I can't wait for you guys to see all this, you know, blossom into something beautiful. But I also have to say, I have to, I have to put it out there. Like when you're attending New York Fashion Week, make sure you know who you are make sure you know what you want you, you have your goals and everything you want to accomplish like you're focused because it is easy to start tearing yourself apart and comparing yourself to other people seeing other people the position they're in the things they're getting access to than you are it is so easy to get into your head during your fashion week. So make sure you're focused. Make sure you're surrounded by people who are going to uplift you when you're feeling a little bit, you know, down and you have a beautiful support system. Some people might not be liking, fortunate enough to have a supportive husband like I do. But make sure you have some supporting friends who can you like, even if you're having a, if you're having a bad day, you can call them like, Hey, I'm not feeling so good right now. Like just, I just need somebody to vent to make sure you have that because whoa, New York fashion week, man, it's not for the birds that people are savages. They're savages. And one thing I really have to say, I just have to say it out loud. Some parts of New York Fashion Week took me back to middle school where the girls were just nasty and ugly, like very like bullish mentality, like being bullies, like middle school and high school, like elementary type of behavior. It's so sad. Like some of these people are married people, these people with kids, um, like what the heck? I just, I'll never understand it. It's very clicklish, like very like, it's very like, this is my click. This is my click. I only get to hang out with these people. And it's more like, oh my gosh, like how many followers do you have? Are you verified? Are you this? Like, oh, like what can I get out of you? I just, I, that's, I don't know. That's not, that's not who I am. And I'll never be that. 
I I love to mingle and talk to any and everybody. I don't care where you come from. I don't care how much followers, whatever you have. I actually hate using that word followers because it just, it's not, I don't know. I feel like for me, like look at it, like the, my friends that I have on social media. Yes, I've claimed you guys as my friends. My friends I have on social media. These are my friends. These are people that I, I talk to and share what I'm passionate about and support everything that I do. Um, so for me, like I, 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 I don't care for the numbers. I really don't. I, I don't. What I care is about is that your, your content is inspiring me. You know, like every single time I look at your profile, I'm inspired. And that for me, like I live for it, big or small, as long as you have quality content that feeds my soul, I am all here for it. And even if it's, you know, if you're not, even if you're not on social media and you're just a beautiful soul, I still want to vibe with you. Uh, this whole click here, click there, I can't do that. That's not how I roll. And it was really sad too that um some of the people i actually follow on social media and meeting them in person i'm just like oh no that's not a person i want to continue supporting like their behavior i was just like no this is not it don't mind me don't mind that noise that's my little son over there like mad because he can't come in here because i'm recording um so just ignore him <laughs> But anyways, it was just like really sad for me when I, I I got to meet some of these girls that I really, I have loved their content and stuff. And then now meeting them in person, now they have blown up, they're bigger and whatever. And they're having, you know, they're sitting at different tables. Now it's just kind of like, ugh, like, who are you? Like, oh, wait, what? This, this is so ridiculous. So no, please make sure you always remain, remain humble. I don't care how big you get. Please remain humble because these people you're looking down on, these are some of the people who have supported you and want you, want, they want to see you to continue doing great and awesome things. Of course, yes, when you start re reaching a certain level, you, re you evolve, right? And we want you to evolve. We want you to get the bag and all this stuff. But at the same time, at the end of the day, we want to see the humility in you. Because at the end of the day, you're a person. Fuck the social media shit. Like, respect people and um, um be humble. Oh my God. Lord, I my mom always tells me this. Like to always remain humble, always treat people with love and respect because the person you're looking down on might be the person you might need to help you, like might lift you up. Okay. And I would, I would never, ever, ever, ever let social media and all these other shenanigans get to my head. And I feel also for me, um, going through the grieving journey I've been going through after losing my sister I I understand what's really really important and for me it's like the true genuine relationships you get to connect with people doesn't mean I need you to tell me your whole life story no it's just that you're a person I think that you're a person like seriously like don't let this bullshit get into your head like and make your head so massively big you know um yeah it's it's sad i can uh, yeah i was kind of a heartbroken by it i'm like oh my gosh i no longer really want to support these people like some of the people and i'll never name on um, they say names and stuff and i just but then at the same time i loved meeting other creators that i you know i um I just enjoy their work and then meeting them in person and just like seeing how they're even more like chill and full of life and it, it, yeah it, it it was it was refreshing um it was so funny because i had a conversation with michaela and i was like i i, I met her 
an event and I had a conversation with her. This was the first time I was, us meeting and I was telling her that, you know what, I'm um, actually a little bit socially awkward and I hate social, like big social events, but I know when to turn it on and turn it off. And we were just like talking and I had a beautiful conversation and she's like, yeah, she doesn't, and now she also owns a store too. And she was talking about how she can only be open for a few days because you know her batteries started to run low and i was like i get it i absolutely get it because i also own a clothing boutique and sometimes at my store i just it's just a lot and i'm an empath so whatever some of my customers might be going through and they they share with me i take it on as as my own issues too so by the time i get home i'm just like drained and we just had a beautiful conversation we're just talking about that and and it was just it was just so beautiful to have like no more live conversations it's not about oh what are you posting oh which party are you going to which other shows are you going to like what the fuck i'm sorry like it was just so some of these girls like oh my god it's just at this point it's a secondhand uh embarrassment type of vibe like it's giving and it's it's not okay but i'm just happy the beautiful connections that i made um the other one like i, I top notch hands down it's my relationship now i have with uh, nika and uh, um Zenabu, Zenabu, oh my gosh, me and her met up for dinner. She came to my hotel and we went downstairs to the restaurant and we just kicked, talked about life and all this stuff. And it was just refreshing. If you're not following her, definitely check her out. I'll, I'll, oh yeah, I'll leave her information below. Uh, it was just so chill and I loved, loved like talking to her she just felt like a long lost girlfriend and we just had a blast but anyways that was a little bit of, of my young fashion week shenanigans i hope you guys enjoyed this video as always thank you for loving me and supporting me and i can't wait to see where we go from here i really truly love and appreciate you guys and I look forward to creating more content like this. Let me know of what you guys think of this video. If you guys love this type of videos. And if you don't. And then me sharing the behind the scenes of what went down with New York Fashion Week. And everything that I did. I absolutely love and appreciate you guys. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Share with your friends and your other friends. So we can be one beautiful community together. I'll see you guys later. Bye.